Hi, I'm Dr. Shami Condis, and today I'm going to talk about an infection that can be fatal, but is fortunately very rare, and that is tetanus. Years ago, before we had a vaccine for tetanus, we had many deaths from tetanus, and in some countries where they don't have ready access to vaccines, they still experience many deaths. Tetanus is caused by a toxin that is released by a bacterium called Clostridium tetani. Here in the U.S., we only have about a dozen deaths from tetanus each year, and those are usually in people who are either completely unvaccinated or older people who didn't get their tetanus booster. So I want to emphasize two things. One, get the vaccine for your children. They actually start getting the tetanus as part of their series of vaccines very early when they're just a couple of months old. But two, make sure that they're keeping up to date on their tetanus vaccines too, because it is one of those vaccines where they need occasional boosters. And so when your child steps on something dirty, that's still the first thing that comes to mind a lot of times. Do they need a tetanus booster? The answer is yes, if it has been more than five years since their last tetanus booster. And that may include some of your older children. Your younger kids are probably fine, but your older children may actually need to come in and get that booster right away. So the key thing I want you to remember, if your child does step on a rusty nail or dirty piece of wood or something else dirty, is just give your pediatrician a call. They'll be able to check your child's vaccine status right away and let you know if you need to come in for that booster.